नमस्ते टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन कवर द चैप्टर सिक्स आई विल ट्राई टू कवर द चैप्टर सिक्स इफ यू हैव एंड रीड अर्लियर बुक अर्लियर चैप्टर्स प्रीवियस चैप्टर्स यू कैन गो देयर इन माय प्लेलिस्ट एंड नाउ यू विल हैव अ ऑल चैप्टर्स डिटेल यू कैन गो देयर एंड रीड देन आफ्टर यू कैन मूव फर्दर unless uh, it will be you know uh, it will be that quite weird to read the um, next uh, chapter 6 uh, directly so yeah so in this chapter we're going to learn about the about a style three aces about a style so without any further delay let's start this video if i had the good sense to write an ordinary how to book this would be the chapter where i explain how to choose a style that's right for you but the style is not really something you can choose of the self like a scarf or a pair of socks it's a root so deeper than that and you don't always choose your style something it chooses you style usually describes surface details like line quality a way of drawing faces or one's use of dialogue but manner manner mannerism like that are just by products of artist attempts to present the world as they see it and to capture the aspects of comics that uh, may have captivate them as readers behind that struggle li- lies their fundamental outlook on life and art a statement of their passions and properties as echo of the times and place they have come from and a signpost to where they want their chosen art to take them in short discovering your own style is a deeply personal process which can take years and uh, it can't be tough in a book taught in a book sorry but even though the path to finding your place in comics is one that you will have to walk alone you can get there a lot sooner if you have a big enough map of the place you can go the benefit of the experiences of those who have uh, gone before and the skills uh, to draw your own map when that landscape changes to get started then here are three snapshots of that world of comic styles starting with uh, my own personal take on the manga phenomena followed by a few ideas on the evaluation and uses of the mass style we call generous so what he is saying uh, followed by a few ideas on the evaluation and uses of the mass style we call generous and an us- unusual uh, but but i hope useful new way of looking at comics culture and the uh, ideals uh, ideals that can both separate us and uh, bind us together the first one is understanding the manga in 1889-1982 just out of college and living in manhattan i i became obsessed obsessed with reading japanese comics or manga funny thing is almost alone alone of what i was reading had been translated and i didn't know a word of japanese my day job was at dc comics in uh, rockefeller center just a couple of block from books uh, kino kinia uh, one of the biggest japanese book store in america almost every day on my lunch hour i had uh, riffle ref- through their shelves uh, reading the pictures panel by panel right to left cover to cover in those pages i found a lot of visual storytelling techniques rarely seen in american comics that i was 
eager to put in my own comics as soon as I got the chance. I have seen books about the history, business and culture of manga and plenty of manga style how to drop books. But in 24 years, I have uh, rarely seen anyone focus on these basic storytelling techniques. So let's take a closer look now. In 18 in 1982 superhero comics uh, were even more dominant in american comic books than they are now and dc comics offices were right in the center of that industry my two and a half block walk from dc to uh, kin kunya span spanned an ocean of differences between the two comics culture at least eight of the manga storytelling techniques I found on in Kino's shelves were almost completely absent from the mainstream of superheroes comics at the time, including iconic characters, the simple emotive faces and figure uh, figures which lead to the kind of uh, reader identification I talked about in Understanding Comic Page 29 to 40, uh, 45. General, general maturity and understanding of the unique storytelling challenges of literally hundreds of different genres including sports, romance, SF, uh, fantasy, business, horror, sexual comedy, etc. A story sense of place, environmental details that trigger sensory memories and uh, when contrasted with the uh, iconic characters lead to the ma masking effect discussed in understanding comic pace. A broader variety of character designing features, a widely different face and body types, and the frequent use of requiring archetypes. Frequent uses of world worldless panels combined with aspect to aspect transitions between panels, promoting readers to assemble sense, uh, sense scenes from fragmentary use visual information. Subjective motion using uh, strict backgrounds to make readers feel like they were moving with a character instead of just watching motion from the sidelines. Small real, small real world details and appreciations for the beauty of the um, mundane and its value for connecting with readers' everyday experiences, even in fantastic or uh, mel melodramatic stories. Various emotionally expressive effects, uh, effects such as expression, expressionistic backgrounds, montage, and subjective caricatures, all aimed at giving giving readers a window into what characters were feeling. Each of these uh, contributing the manga experiences in different ways. But as I studied my own reaction, as I re as a reader and looked into manga's role in Japanese society, I noticed a common a common theme, uh, common them imagine, uh, emerging, as if I all all of these techniques were being deployed towards a single purpose. Whether through the iconic faces and varied visual archetypes that needed to be needed to be filled in by the reader to bring them to life or the silent wandering uh, wandering encounters with environments uh, capable of uh, placing readers within a scene or the direct connection to the real life experiences and interest interest of the average reader or the graphic device mean to move reader emotionally as well as literally moving with the action all of these tactics uh, amplified the scenes of readers' uh, particip participations in manga, a feeling of being part of the story, rather than simply observing the story from afar. And for all the talk of form formats, marketing, and culture di differences, in, in 1982, I became convinced that I do it was this quality of manga that had fueled its massive success at home and uh, potentially in uh, North America. Now the manga industry was huge and varied in 1982. I am not sug uh, suggesting there was any kind of deliberate national style focusing on reader in 
environment in fact the differences i was seeing between the manga and mainstream american comics may in part have just been an accident of history many of manga's readers participation techniques can be traced to to japanese and japanese japan's code of manga also or some tejiku who had been inspiring manga artists since the late 40s usually a powerful and popular artist will uh, just spawn a generation of carbon copies but tejiku's out, uh, output is in in compa- in composed such a diversity of style and genres that even his most zealous lavis imitators had to pick which tejuk tejuka to imitate while those following the spirit of his work sought diversity in their own story just as in nature a wide diversity artistic specific helped speed manga's evolution by 1982 with strong consistent input from readers each channel had uh, had taken a unique shape that strove strove to match the level of immersion felt by its readers and audience involved in involvement techniques did the trick nicely almost 25 years later translated manga account for many of the best selling comics in north america and it's not just because of the cartoon tie ins manga storytelling speaks to read story today uh, for many of the same reasons it did to me back in 1982 but unlike in 1982 the differences between north america comics and manga are not as pronounced as they once were once were the growing alternative and graphic novel market markets have proved hospital hospitable to many of the same quality listed on page 260 some artists in mainstream comic genres have uh, em- embarrassed manga style and plenty of web comics artists who have uh, grown up with uh, anime anime and manga have incorporated its uh, sensibility into their own work still distinct bit differences remain between today's popular manga imports and the average north american comics both the surface and under it and that sense of audience uh, participation uh, con- continues to be a factor the storytelling in japanese uh, shoujo uh, titles in particularly compelling and distinct from western mainstream comics in the north america American traditions the physical positions of characters in relation to one another tend to be carefully sewn up uh, sewn as if they were piece on the chess board even and non action genres like romance but struggle of the heart are emotional not physical they happen internally so when emotions uh, run high and uh, sojo manga as they often do the action may be little more than a montage of floating exp- expressive faces cascading cascading down the page whether it's through the use of experience experience you know tick effect so suggest emotions or the exaggerated trans- transformations of entire bodies the sojo approaches invites readers to participate in the emotional leaps of the each chapters not uh, just observe theme Meanwhile, in certain titles, those aimed at boys' emotions can run equality equally high as the faces of its uh, protagonist and constantly remind us. But the sense of participations in a physical one brought on by subjective emotion and uh, dizzy POV framing. Thus, the son the sonen. reader is inside the action in the same way that the sojo reader is inside character's heads the page compositions and body language are not far from western action genres uh, and they share the common goal of uh, generating excitement and some artists in the west have looked to manga for uh, inspiring in a uh, bridging that gap
but manga readers are finding a visceral, visceral thrill in such participants and techniques that are, that they are apparently are not finding in north american comics of course sometimes a style is just a style like when subjective motions lines are used to make a moment look dynamic or when expressive montage are used just to pretty us a spread but putting the reader inside the story is still the primary effect of many of the uh, teach nikwi techniques uh, that manga has played most over the years and understanding that effect is good first step towards stepping into that power if you are a manga fan who wants to draw comics then you might start out by learning how to draw in the style and there and there are hundreds of books in print offering to teach you how literally hundreds i counted it's a natural first step to imitate your favorite artist and i am not going to try to talk anyone out of it but in the long run i hope i hope you will consider looking beyond those surface styles to the fundamental ideas and effects that those styles have a grown to convey and how they compare with the world of other style and in manga's case that means finding new ways to personally connect with readers not just uh, going uh, the ways other artists in other lands connected with the their that transition is already starting as i write this in north america manga and anime fans from the mid 90s have joined the rank of this decades promos uh, promising young artist but despite their influence they haven't just been telling stories about japanese school girls and samurai instead these uh, new japanese influenced comics artists are wearing closer to their own lives for inspirations and uh, closer to the re- their readers lives in the lives in the process in the mid 90s manga manga and its big brother anime had many many loyal fans in the north america and among them were artists that are now beginning to the significantly change comics on the web on the web and uh, increasingly in print but that generation of young manga readers was a teeny compressed to one of uh, the one of the one we have now and when that we have hits maturity they will tell the stories that will inspire a whole new generation and they will do it using the people uh, they know and understand the place they can bring to vivid life the ability interest and details they can make real for readers and the emotion sensations they have no first hand and uh, as the styles and stories on both uh, sides of the uh, pacific ocean continue to evolve manga evolve manga can be seen for what if uh, what it always has been another world of comics <laughs>